Hi Cancer, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my channel. This will be your You Need to Hear These Tarot Readings. Let's have a look and see what cards come up for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, you've got the Sun, Four of Cups and the Moon. Um, for a lot of you, the Sun and the Moon signify a divine masculine and divine connection that's um, happening around you or will be happening around you. This could be with an ex or it could be with a new person, but there's two very strong energies of yin and yang that are coming to balance each other out here. And you're going to learn of this through an epiphany of some kind in this upcoming phase. Let's have a look at the sun card here. And I feel like there's a lot of opportunity that's going to open up uh, towards you um, in terms of experiences. Uh, the sun card is all about accepting things as a child. Um, you know, the inner child here, inner dreams, childhood dreams, or feeling like a child again. The sun often brings a lot of harmony and happiness. So there's someone here or something that's bringing you a lot of harmony or happiness over this period. You might be going somewhere sunny as well. Um, you might be reconnecting with family, children, grandchildren, parents, siblings, um, or familiarity, something from your childhood perhaps a, a visit to your hometown, um, something like this could resurface childhood um, energies. It could also be something major happening for your children as well, a new school, a new job, a new love interest, a health diagnosis, something here could be connected to your children and or grandchildren. The sun is about the self, it can be an Aries here as well, so for some of you, you might have a destined Aries coming in. But the sun as a center of the solar system, this is all, all about self-empowerment and self-growth. So I feel like a lot of you are maturing in a lot of ways, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. The child needs to experience to really gain knowledge and awareness. So there's some sort of major experience that's going to demand a lot of growing up from you or a more mature approach than, than something you might have previously been taking cancer. So that could also be coming up around some of you as well. It could be an educational path coming up for a lot of you. There's something that you're going to learn and it's going to change you as a person. But I honestly think it's through a relationship, a through divine masculine, divine feminine relationship that you're going to learn something that's going to be almost like a realization or an epiphany. It could be a major turning point for a lot of you as well. Now, the cups is you, Cancer, or it could be a fellow Cancer. Um, a Scorpio or a Pisces that's coming through here. But the Four of Cups is about an opportunity that's really unexpected, that really caught you off guard, or, or will catch you off guard, that's offered to you by the universe or the hand of God emerging from the cloud here, and you're not seeing it yet. So there's something you're yet to realize about a person or about a situation, and that epiphany is going to come during this time. You might have been assessing things, weighing up options, weighing up lovers, opportunities, jobs, um, people, resources, offerings. You know, you're, you're looking at things intently. This is you sitting by the tree of life. So there's an opportunity that could be life altering or life changing. Again, the tree of evolution, the tree of life, self growth, change, um, metamorphosis and transformation. I think you're changing as a person. Uh, especially you've come up here as the moon cancer. So I feel like there's things that are changing you internally um, over this phase. There's a lot of lessons that could be learned um, or ha have to be learned in, in a short amount of time. There could be major a lot of major lessons that are condensed into this period for you. Um, but there is something, an unexpected offer or uh, learning something about yourself, learning about some someone important around you. And it's going to change things for you. Maybe you're going to learn how someone really feels. Maybe you're going to learn to see what it's, life, what it's like to live life without a certain person in your life. And you're going to do some major contemplation here. Uh, the Four of uh, Cups, you know, it's not a very fleeting passing by. Or I have a, an a overwhelming amount of thoughts, say, for example, which the Seven of Cups could represent. It's more sitting down with your thoughts, contemplating a major life journey or a major decision you're yet to make, or maybe someone's, um, I guess, pressuring you to make on your own here as well. Uh, but look like there's major contemplation happening here, Cancer. So you're really going to dig deep, I feel, 
Um, but for a lot of you, the fact that the sun and the moon have come up, I do feel like it's a yin and yang connection. Um, it's a very powerful union that you're contemplating here. And I want to say for some of you Cancerians, because Aries has come up with the Sun card, Aries is the first of the Zodiac, and Aries is a pioneer, um, an inventor, trendsetter, um, new beginnings. So this could be, you might be contemplating between the new, someone who's come in, taken you by storm, made you feel happy and swept up in emotion, and, and you've had a lot of new experiences with this person, but you could also be contemplating the past. And I say the past is because Cancers, you get attached to the past you're very sentimental, deeply nostalgic, um, and you have a, you, you build that bond and connection or attachment to things. And for some of you, you're contemplating the new and you're contemplating something that you're already attached to, whether it is someone from your past. So there's a lot of this connected into each other here. Um, a very emotional time is coming up for you with the moon card, okay? Empathy, compassion, love, um, protection, you know, the animals are very primitive here, so there is a protective energy. You might be very protective over your feelings or someone you're dealing with is very protective. You could also be very protective over someone from your past as well, or a past situation. I think you're becoming empathetic towards a person or a situation here. And it could even be guilt, okay? Um, you, you, you're known to feel guilt because you feel with your heart cancer. Can you blame you? No, it's just in your nature. It's who you are. The twin towers, I don't know if this is a twin flame or you feel like the past, the person from the past is a twin flame, but that's potentially coming through for a lot of you. Um, the moon card is also anxiousness. So you could be anxious about the past or anxious about a divine feminine connection here. That could also be the case. The moon is also uh, creativity. So for some of you, you're going to draw inspiration creatively, artistically from your experiences, maybe, or from your emotions as well. Um, but a very emotionally charged period, I think, for a lot of you. Definitely, definitely um, a lot of nostalgia coming up. So it's either someone's having a lot of nostalgic moments over you, missing you, um, definitely feeling a void. Maybe if you're not talking to this person anymore, you're not attached, there could be a pining of some kind here. So someone might be yearning for you, Cancer, or you might be yearning for them. Um, but someone could show a lot of compassion to your situation, or there's a message here from the universe that you need to show more compassion to someone else. Maybe someone who was vulnerable with you. You know, the children have a vulnerability um, because they're neotenous. They, they need the care and they need the support. They need the teaching. They need the bond. And if someone is in this position next to you, it could be that they're wanting compassion um, or empathy from you. They're wanting emotional understanding. And maybe you've shut them off. Maybe you haven't given them what they're needing, but uh, what they're needing. And maybe this is their, their way of reaching out, crying out for your attention or your help. You know, it could be something like this as well, but it's a very motherly energy, the moon card, which is you know, that, that, that compassion and that tenderness. So maybe it's that you need to be more tender towards a situation or someone is wanting tenderness from you. They're craving it from you. Maybe this is where that contemplation is coming in and, and, and you're really deeply thinking about your next steps here because this is a major decision that, that will need to be made here, Cancer. Okay. I will leave your reading at that though. So thank you again for tuning in.